is Jasmine here. I am back with something a little different today. I am going to a birthday brunch for a dear friend and I am giving Bridgerton vibes today. This is a dress from my last Shein haul. I will link that. Um, but I have been seeing the last few months this clean girl aesthetic. So I thought that I would brush my hair back in a ballerina bun with this cute Bridgerton inspired dress. Where we're going is a little bit of a vineyard winery. So I thought that this outfit would be super cute and I am the type of person who loves a theme. So if I'm going to a certain venue or attraction, I love to match that theme or aesthetic. So with that being said, today's video is going to be a little bit of like a 15 to 20 minute um, get ready with me clean girl aesthetic tutorial. I'm going to try some new stuff. Um, I've been loving ditching the foundations and just using more of like concealers. So I'll share some of my um, tricks with you guys and show some of my favorite products right now. Okay, so first and foremost, I have shown this product before, but this is the True Cream Aqua Balm by Belief. I absolutely love this product. I hope that you guys can see. Yes. I got this product from Sephora. It is the best moisturizer like ever. Next, you guys know I have to be safe with, you know, sun protection and everything like that. So I wanted to give the Black Girl sunscreen um, a little bit of a try. I have heard all about it um, from family, also on social media. So I have been using it the last few months you know with lupus i want to be sure that i'm protecting myself but i am trying to do better about that aspect of you know skin protection and photosensitivity protection and i actually know that they have a body spray and i need to probably get the body spray but i'm gonna put some on my shoulders and in my chest area as well because we are going to a vineyard so I just want to, you know, make sure that I'm protected as much as possible, even if we are in the inside. So lately, I have been going back and forth with these two products. This is, of course, the Viral NYX Marshmallow Primer, and then this is the ELF Power Grip Primer. I feel like it's going to be a little hot today, so I don't know if I want to use the Power Grip because sometimes it feels like so sticky on your skin. I think that I want to use the marshmallow primer. It's a little bit more lightweight on your skin. So I'm just gonna do about two pumps of that. What kind of setting spray do you use? Because normally I've been using the Morphe. This is just a matte setting spray. So I like to use more of a matte than a wet finish. Um, for my base so Morphe concealers like I know you guys love NARS and like Too Faced Naked all of these different like higher luxury brand but when I tell you Morphe is my girl like I absolutely love this concealer it blends perfect with my skin which I feel like a lot of times with the Naked Too Faced products like I get color, um, my color incorrect. Right now, I do have a concealer product from Naked Too Faced, but it's way too light for my skin. So I actually use it more of a highlighting concealer. But I am just going to put a little bit of that there. Just to conceal a little bit. This is the Morphe Filter Effect. Guys, I don't know what color it is, but I'll find out and I'll put it, um, yeah, I don't know what shade it is, but I will find out and I will put it down below. So, you guys know that I'm a little darker here on the side, so what I love to do is to use the MAC Studio Fix, like, foundation stick. I still consider it a concealer because it's really, really matte. It's a soft matte foundation, actually. This is NC37. 
I will link that below. I remember getting this actually from the Mac store at the Millennium Mall, um, probably like a year or two ago. And that's what I love is that I don't know what it is, but my makeup lasts me so long lately, I guess because I don't really go to many places. Um, but what I like to do is to kind of set that with a little bit more of a wet setting spray. So this is the Milani Make It Last. Again, I'm all about affordable products. I feel like this is stuff I shouldn't be inhaling. I got a good old whiff of that right then. And I love to just um, set a little bit of the spray on the sponge. Do you guys see how just by doing that alone, like I have coverage, but it literally doesn't look like it. It looks like I have a pretty just natural glow. Um, so I totally forgot to do my eyebrows. So I'm going to let this sit a little bit. I'm going to do my eyebrows and then I will be right back. Okay guys, eyebrows are done. What I have been learning with my eyebrows is that less is definitely more with me. I know that the trend for the last few years have been like the extreme thicker arch with the concealer underneath i have never gotten into that i don't have perfect eyebrows they they are really really bare i lost them due to a lot of treatments and chemo and all of those things and they just don't grow back i have thought about doing um micro shading but every now and then like i get really really bad dermatitis in my when that happens when i have a dermatitis flare my hair on my eyebrows are just like stripped like they do not they're peeling they like come off bald so you know i don't want to have someone do a micro shading job on my eyebrows and then them feel like they're like responsible for anything so i i actually was going to book an appointment and then when i was going over like her med his her med history questionnaire i was like you know what we're just gonna let somebody else do this so Next, um, this is probably the only time I'm going to use a little foundation. Although I normally use a different foundation in my routine, I'm just going to use Born This Way just because this is a little bit more of a natural glow look that I'm going for and not an actual face beat. So I'm going to use that. And then what I like to do is just for a little bit of a darker effect um, to contour, I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place. I think these are foundation sticks as well shade sticks actually but i use them more as um concealer like complexion coverage um or complexion correction so i do go in and guys i think i'm gonna need a mirror i'm sorry i do go in just you know up here what i've been learning to do is to just bring it halfway up you know here and not the full normally like I would contour so heavy when my face would be a little more fuller I would literally contour chisel the cheek all the way down to like the jaw but lately I've just been bringing it just right here and I have a little bit of facial um facial like unevenness um so I like to make sure that I'm covering each area evenly if that makes sense Again, this is just for a little bit of complexion correction. Obviously, you know that our facial complexion and color is not going to be same, the same color amongst the entire face. So I just do that just so that where I'm already darker, it just lifts up a little bit off of that color. So for the Born This Way foundation, I am just going to put a little bit here on my foundation brush. I love this brush. It's by e.l.f. Um, I can't think of the name exactly, but I will link everything below. Oh, it's called the Complexion Duo. So how perfect is that? And I just put a dollop there. It's going to go in here, 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 and here. And just do a light blend. I feel like with makeup, and I see why a lot of creatives are successful with um, makeup, it's literally like paint, painting a canvas. Like, you don't want to rub, 
the brush in but you kind of want to do a little bit of a stroke pick me up stroke pick me up thing and I'm not a professional but I feel like through the years I've acquired like a certain taste for what I want my makeup to look like and lately because I used to be wearing like heavy heavy makeup y'all but lately I haven't been into the heavier look so you guys gotta get underneath let me tell you how I hate how when I wear foundation or I'm applying foundation like my lips disappear <laughs> I absolutely hate that how do you like avoid the lips looking like they're ghost lips I have been contemplating getting filler on the top lip <clears throat> my lips are just so thin y'all I know I shouldn't give into like those insecurities but they're so thin and I'm just gonna drag just a little color here to the chest area okay so see how that's just like a little bit more of a little extra glow so what I do is I have another shade stick this is Juvia's Place it is in Zambia um, I'm gonna contour a little bit again just halfway up the cheek jaw area and then y'all this is my new favorite product it's by elf and this is the 16 hour camo concealer matte finish this is in shade medium warm i go in a little bit under the eye and we're gonna blend that in a little bit so i learned this trick from tiktok i believe instead of me applying the concealer to my jaw cheek area I go in just a little bit on the brush this is like a ultimate blending brush from elf I don't think I'm supposed to use it as more of a concealer brush job but that's what I've been using it as so again I just go in just a little bit I'm just gonna go in just a little and again, my face is so uneven, so I have to use the mirror a little bit. And everything is going to blend, of course. I'm just going to put a little bit up here in the forehead area. Here, a little bit just to give a little definition and everything's gonna blend here in a second this is a key here always when trying to get rid of the extra neckage you have to create the um, appearance of this chiseled little line here so I go in there and again I'm gonna blend it a little bit more evenly there you go And then I always go in with the angle brush. I think that this brush is from Sephora. This is the must have angle brush 50. Um, and I just go in and it's almost like you're using a wisp and you just want to blend that out just a little bit. See how it blends perfectly? And it's still going to blend it to go a little bit more down your jaw but I don't like it like all the way where the jaw meets the mouth I have graduated from that look <laughs> I think that one thing that's consistent about my makeup is that I'm always gonna give really rosy cheeks and a little bit of a stronger contour and you can still have a strong contour even with a lighter natural glow look where everything blends together. And the forehead contour is literally so light that you can see I don't even really have to like contour anything. At least we're coming together a little bit more. 
Okay, so it is highlighting time. I just do a light, light highlight. I absolutely love the look of the extending the highlight here, though. I can't get away from that look. Now, this is a new favorite of mine. I, for some reason, my concealer was, or highlight concealer was starting to crease so bad, y'all, like under the eye. I could not use a flat brush. So what I realized is that a little bit more of, oh, I got this from TJ Maxx, but this is a little bit more of a buffer, like round brush. And y'all, I love it. So what I do is just wet it a little bit more, keep it wet. And when I go in to conceal this, it is perfection. Do y'all see? It is absolute perfection. I just love when you drag that concealer up there and it makes like that defined highlighted look. Do you guys see how that just blended in perfectly? Absolutely perfectly. I love it. This brand is Japonesque. I got it from TJ Maxx, y'all. I don't know where they sell this, but I'll try to find it. Probably Amazon, though. I could imagine. So I go in and blend that a little bit more. Another one of my favorites, Patrick Star. I don't know what you put into this. This Ultimate Setting Powder. I think it comes in two shades, but I have the translucent. Um, yeah, I don't know what the other shade is, but I have the translucent. And if this is the travel size, which I think the travel size was only like 16 or $18. There are so many more products of one size that I want to try, but just haven't had the opportunity. So of course I go in and just tap, tap, tap a little bit. And I've seen this trick just to kind of make it matte, tap it on your hand and then go in and y'all, oh my gosh, this product. It just don't make no sense for a product to be this good. Go in around your mouth a little bit where you want to kind of draw that effect. Again, this is just a little bit of a, a natural pick-me-up, clean girl look. So I don't want to create too much of a harsh like line. Now this is a must have product, the Sephora Micro Smooth Foundation. Life changing ever since I've been using it. I love it. This is my favorite powder ever. Favorite powder ever. This is an old brush that I've had for years, y'all. I probably need a new powder brush, but I don't like to fix what ain't broken. So you can see how I just go in just to kind of blend everything together, lay everything down. Now my edges got makeup in it. Oh, absolutely one of my favorites. Next, I think when people think of the clean girl look, I think it's a little bit more of a lighter, less costume blush type of aesthetic, um, which is really, really a challenge for me because I love my blush. What I'm gonna do, this is another Juvia's Place product. It's the Volume 4 Blush Duo. It was extremely viral. I think it's a dupe of like the Dior or Chanel blush or something. Um, I will be honest with y'all, it's really, really, it's a very pigmented product. 
so you have to be careful when you're going in but I am just going to put just a little because it's just for a light pick me up just a little I'm going to lightly tap this one because this is very pigmented and just put a little bit right here just put a little on the apple now I love a highlighted look um, this is the morphe highlighter in the shade Desi danger this is another morphe brush m510 that I use I am just going to do a little bit of highlight here 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 and here mind you I literally lightly tapped um, the brush so it's just a little highlight and I don't know if you notice I didn't contour the nose at all today I just didn't want to go for that look okay guys I'm going to do a little bit of a minimal eyeshadow look I have been loving the Morphe Lavender Palette because, of course, it's lavender. You guys know that is my staple color, my lupus awareness color. So I absolutely love, I love this eyeshadow palette. I'm seeing the palette. This is just a little bit of its colors. I am going to go in. I usually like to go in with Follow Me, this color here as my base follow me has a little bit of a purple hue to it but also a nude hue so I like to go in again on the base my florals and my dress are purple uh, lilac lavender looking so I'm just going to pick up on that a little bit going to go in with a little bit of a purple hue. Um, I don't know if I want to go in with Amethyst Dimension or Raven Length. I do not know. I think. And then I'm going to just go in with a little bit more of a purple base because a lot of times when you just pile the glitter on top, it's just like wow just like a un unblended effect so I'm just gonna go in and put the little purple here and then I'm gonna put that same purple base a little bit more drag it out a little bit more on the sides And then there's a shade called Imperial Heather that I'm just going to drag on top or highlight on top. Okay. And it's very light. Y'all, I do not feel like putting on lashes but I am just gonna put just a little bit of lashes on I have my cute little heart earrings I don't know if they're purple or they're pink but this is what we have so far next I'm going to go in with the Ardell Fox Mink lashes I'm gonna put those on off camera because your girl still be struggling I still be struggling with lashes y'all okay guys I got my lashes on I feel like the girls are kind of avoiding or steering away from the huge, you know, butterfly flutter lashes lately, which I do love. You know, I think depending on the event, you know, what's appropriate, but they're going back to the Ardell lashes, which I love that. So next is the Natural Clean Girl Lip Duo. Um, I'm going to go in with the Morphe Sweetheart Lip Liner. Then 
Then I'm going to go in, this is, this is Milky Gloss by NYX. I'm just going to put this a little bit on the outside. Well, I jerk it down the bottom, so I'm just going to put it on the bottom. And then I'm going to put Fenty Beauty Sweet Mouth. It's going to go on top. And it's just a perfect little glossy. Ta-da! That is my Clean Girl Aesthetic 15-20 minute tutorial, y'all. I need to brush up my edges or my ballerina bun a little bit. But I absolutely love what it's giving. I love what it's giving, y'all. So recently I bought the Burberry Her Elixir, Elixier, I don't know how do you pronounce that, but I'm going to go in with a little bit of that. Oh y'all, it smells so good. So y'all, that is the end of my 15-20 minute Clean Girl Aesthetic tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what other type of looks um, that you guys want to see and let me know how you guys liked this tutorial. I will see you guys next time. Oh,